All right, guys, we are on Biscayne Bay. Today, we're gonna to be testing out the new stainless steel prop. I finally got it in. Um, I will certainly get you guys some run numbers. I'm just gonna kinda of outrun the squalls here. Um, gonna head over, take some images of it, then I'll do some speed tests for you and see if it's, you know, how this thing runs in comparison to the aluminum prop. So we're gonna kinda of cruise over to Miami Marine Stadium and hit the island over there and take some shots. I'll show you what the prop looks like and then get some speed time on it. So we'll see what happens and we'll go from there. You can see it's a little choppy in the bay today. Too many squalls, but that's all right. New canoe can handle it. So we're on the inside of Biscayne Bay, we're over near Rusty Pelican, if you guys know Miami. Um, it's flat on this side so I can get some numbers. So I'm just gonna kind of ease this thing up. I have not had this prop on this motor before. It's brand new. Same pitch, a little heavier, actually much heavier. Solid stainless steel, so there's no flex on this at all. So I'm gonna get some run time now, see how it performs, hit the island, take some photographs, then we'll get some speed tests on it. But engine sounds identical as far as pushing the throttle, so that's a good thing. Okay, a little uh, perspective on this prop. Um, on the aluminum prop, it seems like for some reason being it that it's so light, couldn't get full throttle it's weird i just kind of cranked this thing up and uh i'm getting all of it now so let's check it out that is wide open no cavitation at all no loss of rpm that heavier prop is on point wide open. I don't usually run wide open because it's usually a waste of gasoline. So I guess you guys can kind of see that that is the new prop. Full stainless steel, solid. This thing weighs about a half a pound. It's only a five inch prop. But let me tell you, it, it definitely is a difference. I don't know what the speed is on it yet, but that is the new baby. That's uh, SS Stainless Steel 316 which is no joke, same thing they use on, you know, standard marine props. Do have the bull nose on there, and man, what a difference, just cruising around paddling, just there's no comparison. You know, it just cuts the work down in half, so. So that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, the new Kayak Buddy legs all have now the pivot control here, which is awesome. That means you guys can re-angle pretty much, I would probably say at least 45 degrees, and, um, it just helps getting the ergonomics right with the steering controls. But uh, here's my pursuit. I would say it's probably in its final stages now. I keep changing things like we all do, but uh, you know, 13.5 feet, a little over 70 pounds. It does have the console. I think it's more bling than anything. I don't use it. Well, I haven't yet. I'm sure I will today, but um, crates, of course, fuel my little chain anchor. I do have my cutoff switch for the motor inside of a waterproof box here. Yes, I do not use a wrist strap. I should, but I don't. I did install finally the 360. What a difference, man. Uh, lift kit didn't work so well, but again, nonetheless, it's fantastic. Um, again, I do run the motor locked. I'm just showing you guys that, you know, we have a prop change, which is awesome. I do run my waterproof plugs on all my engines you guys can see so you can literally unplug the power head at will pull the box out if necessary make it simple you know you do it one time do it right and uh there you go so i'll get some runtime numbers and we'll see where we're at all right so we got everything back in we're gonna go for a cruise and wind this prop up it's pretty glass out here overall it's got some you know one footers but uh i'm not worried about that so right now we are pushing shit man we're pushing almost four all right so let's see what we got so we got four all right let's run it i'm just gonna wind it up
this. Dude, this thing's got balls. Holy shit. on the prop speed rpms all the way up no bargain at all this is awesome let me see if i can get a back shot So, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, 6.2. That was pretty cool. You can definitely feel the torque difference on this prop. What is interesting about this is just the fact that it has power all the way up to the end of the RPM range. The aluminum is about 80%, it may be closer to 85%, but this one all the way to the end. Now, mind you, this prop weighs, no joke, about six ounces. That doesn't seem like a lot, but compared to the other prop, which was like two, maybe three, this is this is a paperweight heavy in a sense. So that definitely helps the inertia on the engine. You can tell right off the bat. So we're gonna cruise around, get some average numbers. Pretty cool sailboat. Um, and let's see what we got. All right, so I'm just grabbing some more footage here. I'm actually very impressed with the noise level. I don't know if the prop changed something or what, but we're cruising right at four. And I'm telling you, man, this is extremely tolerable. Not that the six is not either, but this is nice. I mean, I could literally have a conversation with somebody else, but um, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't ruin the adventure, that's for sure. And we are doing four. We're going over to Key Biscayne's Bridge. Sorry I cut off the, <laughs> the first part of the film, but we got a lot of cross shop here. A buttload, man, and fishing lines everywhere. But, uh, you know, the pursuit just smashes it, man. It's awesome. Hell yeah. All right, so what I'm going to do, I didn't realize, I have my seat all the way back, and I did that on the last time I was out for some weird reason. So I'm gonna actually head over the beach, move my seat forward, probably about six inches, and take it out again and see if that makes any difference on the speed. You know, I know these are water displacement holes, and uh, you know, at the end of the day, it may make a little bit of difference. The only reason why I say that is because I notice when my seat's all the way back, I get almost kind of like a vibration through the hole, almost like a wave going from the bow to the, to the back, and I don't know if that's because of me being in, you know, at the rear, I don't know. All right, so what I did is I kind of put my seat a little bit more midship. I moved it up about almost, I would say about five inches. Um, everything got positioned forward a little bit. So I want to see how this thing rocks with a little more weight forward. This was my original position on the Pursuit when I first put the 50 on it. Um, so I want to kind of gauge it now with the better prop or the different prop I should say and then we'll see what kind of numbers we got man let's give it a ride yeah. these are my favorite testing grounds because they can go from flat to rough in minutes so this exits right out under Barracut Bridge out into the Atlantic. Reefs are about three miles out from Hobie. There's, there's reef systems. Not that I need to give you an educational lesson here. All right, so it looks like we got currents coming in from the southeast. I haven't seen any tarpon. I only see swimmers in my way. So let me get out of the no wake zone. We're cruising at four right now. We'll jam in a minute. 
head over towards the sea aquarium and do some laps. And uh, wind it up, see what we got. This is a weedless prop on here, just like the aluminum. As I mentioned earlier, it weighs about almost half a pound, which for a prop that size, it's solid, man. You can hurt somebody with it. But it is certainly helping with the inertia of the motor. Once it revs up, it is, it's there, man. The, the throttle is 100% now. It's what I've been looking for. So Christmas came early. All right, we're almost out of the no wake, even though I'm making a wake. guys on an angle so I'm gonna get some room and then I'll go with it let's go try the weed guys we got some weed up here let's see if we get caught okay, we're going right through and you all can see that Boys and girls, I want to see an electric do that. Hell, I think it made me go faster. All right, I'm going to turn the camera off, reposition, and go with the waves. Let's we'll see what happens. We are now at 6.3. All day long. Okay, so I'm just kind of letting this float neutral to see which way the uh, currents are going. Can't really tell. I know closer to shore, it seems like they're going, they're going in, like the tide's going high. Um, so I'm gonna give it a shot. We're gonna go the other way now. Very, very impressed with the sea change. Kept my 6.3 constant wide open oh my god I love the way this thing turns all right here we go let's get her done
guys can hear that thunder, man. It is no joke. It's right there. So I'm going to go through. It looks like our numbers are literally the same. Average speeds in the high fives, max speed 6.3. So yeah, I don't think it matters which direction you're going unless you have obviously a four or five knot current. So I'm actually gonna put through this weed. I see a nice little weed line here. So I'm gonna go with just one click on the throttle and see if it bogs down. I think maybe before I was going fast and blew through it, I don't know. You guys can see that Sargasso seaweed. It is thicker than carpet. I really don't like this stuff, man. Can't fish around it. I'll just chop it up. Now I can feel the engine tugging and I got a feeling it is the rudder catching it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit neutral. It's not stopping it. It definitely is not a prop problem. It's a rudder problem, it looks like. I'm pulling all the, all the seaweed. So I'm gonna stop here and let it fall off. I'm gonna push neutral and then paddle backwards, let it fall off, guys. But I think we are good for the day because that rain is heading my way.